prices are going up, but you feel way, way down. Tears are like coins you carry now. And I want to take that cup and fill you up somehow. But you need the kind of love you just can't spare right now. Love is free, but sometimes you pay with time. You're banking on hearts to be around. And I've got a thousand dreams I say, but you turn them down. You need the kind of love you just can't buy right now. You got a heart of gold, a heart of gold. And I want to find that gold that's around you. You got a heart of gold, a heart of gold. And I want to find your heart and remind you. That a penny for your heart is an awful trade And all the love you get, you get it late And I want to take that pain for something you can trade But you've got a lot of love to give and none to save You've got a heart of gold, a heart of gold And I want to find around you you've got a heart of gold a heart of gold and I want to find your heart and remind you that you've got to see the gold you have inside one day you'll learn that some men We'll always be blind, yeah There's gold in your eyes, gold in your smile It's all around you, it's all around you There's gold in the air, gold in your hair It's all around you, it's all around you Got a heart of gold, a heart of gold, and I want to find that gold that's around you. You've got a heart of gold, a heart of gold, and I want to find your heart and remind you, and remind you. There's gold in your eyes, gold in your smile, it's all around you, it's all around you. There's gold in the air, gold in your hair, it's all around you, it's all around you. Love is just a wild ride Hang on to your lover, hang on to your lover It's a wild ride Love is just a wild ride Hang on to your lover, hang on to your lover It's a wild, wild ride Never see the dark before you're in it Never see the circles till you spin it, spin a long ride. And you never need the truth in the beginning. Always think your heart will be in it, but love gets lost sometimes. Love is just a wild ride. 
Hang on to your lover, hang on to your lover, it's a wild ride Love is just a wild ride Hang on to your lover, hang on to your lover, it's a wild, wild ride Never see the fire till it's burning Never know the danger when it's perfect Love is blind sometimes Always thought forever was the target But lately every aim is broken hearted Love gets lost sometimes And when you're upside down and the words are wrong And you're scared to say that the love is gone Keep hanging, hanging on, just keep hanging When your heart is good but the clocks are slow And you're scared to say that the love is gone Keep hanging, hanging on, just keep hanging Cause love is just a wild ride Love is just a wild ride, yeah Love is just a wild ride Love is just a wild ride When you're upside down and the words are wrong When your heart is good but the clocks are slow Love is just a wild ride Keep hanging on Love is just a wild ride Hang on to your lover, hang on to your lover It's a wild ride Love is just a wild ride Hang on to your lover, hang on to your lover It's a wild, wild, wild It's so Hey, everyone. We are back with Poet Hawkins. Dude, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you guys for having me. Beautiful set, man. That yes. was unbelievable. Amazing. Thank like, you. Oh, wow. Seriously drawn in. Such incredible songs. Dude, you are a gift, and we're so glad to have you. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. We usually, like, clap real loud after each song, but there was a couple of songs where it was just, like, speechless, like, wow, what did we just witness? It felt like an orchestra concert. Like, I had to, like, mind my manners. It was yeah. so beautiful. To- <laughs> yeah. 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 Hundred percent. Well, dude, as the people are getting to know you, why don't we just get into it? Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about like where you're from and kind of your journey to arriving here in Austin? Yeah. So I was born in LA, grew up in North Carolina, and I like to mention that because I think the the pace of the city, how I grew up, my childhood, mm-hmm. sort of influenced um, the music that I'm making now. And I remember that was back when you go to record shops. So I remember like. D'Angelo, Hootie and the Blowfish, mm-hmm. Outkast. Yeah. Like, we would wait for these CDs to come out. And uh, then I moved to LA, and uh, my dad played guitar. So I knew that I was going to pick it up just because he played. But when I did, man, the, it's been a wild ride ever since I started playing, literally. Was he a songwriter too? Yeah, he's a songwriter. He's a gospel songwriter. Mm. But uh, me discovering my voice in songwriting has just it's like just opened up the whole world to me. And I feel lucky that, you know, early on, I I sort of knew that my ideas were a little different, a little outside the box. And I had a lot of, to bring them in a Mm -hmm. little bit, you know, to make them commercial or pop or whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, the journey has been great. And um, that's why I feel like those ideas are so strong. And I just, when I hear an idea like that, I just, I just roll with it. I love it, man. It, it totally shines through your authenticity mm. in the heart of the songs. And I, I love hearing that your dad was a gospel songwriter because especially you on the piano and the changes, <laughs> yeah, I hear I hear it in the voicings and 
I felt it in my spirit, man. That's yeah. all I could say is like, you touched my spirit today with the Thanks, song. Man. So thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're newer to Austin. Mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. I know you said you moved here during the pandemic. Yep. What has it been like getting into the scene and getting plugged in, meeting people, getting opportunities? What's that journey been like It's for you? been the absolute best thing that could have happened to my writing and just me as a human being. Um, I think Austin is still a place right now where, uh, for me, that I can uh, find the peace to write. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? LA is really bustling. Like getting across the city, you just can't do it. Uh, But here there's a lot of peacefulness. It reminds me of Charlotte. Um, The cost of living. I've been able to make great strides in building up my studio so that when I'm listening to myself and I'm practicing, I I have a great keyboard. I have great mics. And Mm -hmm. it just fuels Right, it feels that writing to be able to say like, "Hey, man, keep going. Like you, you're on your way." Mm. And then the people and the the city have just been an absolute joy to play in. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, LA. I think now there's a you play a lot of indoor, you play yeah. a lot of shorter sets. Here, you're playing outside. There's longer sets. Actually, my favorite season was kind of the winter. Mm-hmm. Right, and I didn't expect that because I was like, I'm going to be out there in the cold. But it was amazing to just see people that they stop and they listen. Uh, they're very giving, yeah. and uh, I wouldn't trade it for any other segment in my career. Totally it's been, it's great, a great place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Being newer to the city and the scene too, I I feel the same sentiments yeah. and totally agree with you. Uh, I loved what you're talking about with your home studio, and mm-hmm. I would love to talk about that a little bit. Yeah. I saw you have a few singles already out this year. Yeah. Um. So are you self producing that entirely? Those. Oh my gosh! I have to shout out uh, Noah Needleman. And John Kaplan helped me with those songs. Beautiful. And it, they they found me at a really interesting point in my career. I think sometimes you're you're finding you're not necessarily dipping, but nothing's really happening. And yeah. they 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 knew me and they reached out, they recorded um everything except for Wild Ride, which I did myself. And it was a unbelievable experience to be in the studio to watch them work. Uh they're very accomplished producers and musicians in their own right. And it was a extreme blessing to be able to record with them and i'm very proud of what we came up with so is, is that in town they're in los angeles mm-hmm. yeah they're in, uh, noah moved to uh nashville but uh i met him in la and unbelievable experience being able to record at john's place and watching producers uh pull out a hi-hat find the groove yeah. you know yeah. and one thing i do want to mention about noah is that we recorded uh the song Broken Road, like years before. Mm -hmm. And then we came back to it and really found that special place. And not a lot of people would do that because a lot of times guys have a room, they want you in, they're going to put their whatever on the record and then it's like, okay, you're off. But he came back to that record and made it something super special. Mm. And so I'm, I'm extremely grateful to be able to work with guys like that. That's That's amazing, man. I love the shout out. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Um, So... I'm curious about one thing because you were mentioning before that you have a nine to five. Yeah. We're both nine to fivers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We don't always feel like full timers, like some of our buddies that are songwriting and playing around town all the time. Um, I, uh, I have, I think I have a tight schedule where like mm-hmm. I need to fit in music and practice all the time as much as I can. Yeah. But I'm curious to see what your songwriting schedule is or just playing, um, you know, because whether you like it or not, a lot of your emotional energy, physical energy is is used up oh, during yeah. your job, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. So I'm really lucky in that for the longest time, I try not to let any songs get past me. Mm-hmm. That's one thing. So I'll open up a session and record whatever's like idea I have. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I do that. Um, I think I just started prioritizing music. Mm-hmm. Like I remember... I always tell this story. I was working in in L.A., in downtown L.A., and I lived in downtown L.A. I would ride my bike home on lunch. I would work on a song, yeah. and then I would ride my bike back. Mm-hmm. So maybe I was a few minutes late. I don't know. They didn't fire me. <laughs> you know, I, I do good while I'm working. Yeah. And uh, I think I just prioritize it, and I try not to let anything uh, get past me. Because I think I see, and I've always seen, like when you're in front of people, yeah. the what music is doing. Mm-hmm. And it just makes me want to want to keep writing and um, an obsession. 
Yeah. And so I feel very fortunate that I've, I've literally, I stay inspired. I mean, if we were to mm -hmm. cut these mics off and play a couple of chords, we'd be writing a song. Yeah, yeah man. Totally. Love that. I got gotcha. That's amazing. Dude. So we were talking, you have some exciting stuff coming up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, with uh, a few festivals and things like that, but you've also been locally as an Austin artist, seeing the stuff you've been doing has been so cool, man. You yeah. know, um, I know we were for the first time talking at length today, but I saw you at the cactus cafe, I believe mm. last year for the first time. And I was blown away at, uh, just you and your guitar. Yeah, and the way you played and how you just like kind of left it open for your voice, and then I saw you on live on the lake yeah. uh, podcast because uh, I was on the next week and now I was okay. checking out yours and yeah, uh, dude, and then to luck reunion, yeah, you know one of the biggest things of South by, what has that journey been like for you? Man, it's been unbelievable, and I think it goes back to really writing the most honest and heartfelt music that you can make, mm -hmm. but um. A wonderful and dear friend now, Chloe, heard me at, uh, you know, late at the lake mm -hmm. and invited me to an opportunity. Um, another great friend now, uh, Mitch Ballard at BMI, yeah. heard me in a pizza parlor and was like, hey, I want to meet that guy. What is, you know what I mean? There's something about, uh, and all the music that we love, right? It's that you hear that one thing, whether it's a guitar riff or the voice or whatever, and it just says, hey, there's something good there yeah and uh i'm just really open to all those opportunities and uh it's been a absolute wonderful journey this past year you couldn't have scripted it any better to mm -hmm. be able to play luck to be able to play all around town to be able to play even on the east side i played um at the company at lazian mm. <laughs> i played in there lunch hour yeah down, yeah, down, right the, down street. the street yeah yeah it's there's so much music here and yeah. you're just like i want to contribute to that uh, legacy yeah yeah a hundred percent. Well, they do say that success is not an accident, man. I mean, mm. you put in the work and you put yeah. in, and it's passion. Like yeah. you're saying, it's an obsession and you never stop and you always find a way. I think that a lot of times things in life could get in the way, you know, like social events or friends mm -hmm. yeah. or whatever uh, obligations that you have. But um, we need to realize that we do love music and yeah, it man. is an obsession and we need to carve out time. Yeah. And I think you're doing a great job of that. Thanks, man. I yeah. try. Yeah, mm -hmm. I see. And, it. and I, I want to think about me too. Is I keep good songwriters around me. There's a couple mm -hmm. people in town that when I hear them, I hear them reaching, going for those ideas, right? And that's what you need. Like, not in a competitive sort of way, but like, hey man, I know Max. Yeah. That last song, man, he was really, he really pushed himself to either get out of his comfort zone or lean into something that he was really strong in. And then that makes me want to go back and sit down and just play mm -hmm. and write and and be a part of, actually, part of the conversation. Yeah, you know, a hundred percent. I think that's the key, man. Surround mm -hmm. yourself with people who are even like better than you, right? Yeah. So it's like, you know, I've heard Austin has a booming comedy scene right now mm -hmm. as well. I've heard a lot of the comedians say it's like, I want to be on a night where I'm scared to go on after that guy, you know? Yeah. Like, and I totally agree with you, dude. Yeah. It, hanging out, you know, Max, you, you're a great friend of mine, but dude, like, you're also one of the best songwriters I know. Shout oh, you out, thank but. You. Yeah. Uh, and people like yourself too, man. Like, Thanks, man. I love the people we get to get in this room and get inspired by yeah. and just be like, whoa, we got to meet an amazing songwriter. And yeah. now I want to go do my best. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is, man. I was um, I was very fortunate to play in church in LA with a great uh, friend who was the best man at my wedding, mm. Simeon. And like you said, it's either sink or swim. People are either going to shrink and say, Oh my God, I can't do that. I mean, he's an amazing, phenomenal gospel player. And those guys, you know, are just crazy all over the organ and the foot and the hands and yeah. the vocal. And so it really pushed me to, to just get better. And mm -hmm. I even want to get better than, you know, even now the colors, the movements, the expression that you're able to do. Mm -hmm. um, and also the great songs. I did a, a, a gig where I was backing someone at like this bistro and we were learning some of these pop songs, the popular songs. And it's like, oh man, there's something here. Like they're not, mm -hmm. they're working hard, but they're not working that hard. Right. Right. Like if you look at like the some of the great songs, I don't want to botch anything, but there's really great and strong movements that they lean into. And there's a lot of color in the dominance or the, the mm -hmm. flats and things of that nature. And that's what brings it all together. And that's just. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I think you're totally right. Something I try to challenge myself mm -hmm. with is like, 
using a simple progression but changing those color tones, using, like you said, the dominance is yeah. like something, you know, throwing in that dominant seven, then you're moving to the dominant mm -hmm. of the dominant, then yeah. you're going oh, back yeah. to it. Like that kind yeah. of stuff, that is pop magic, yeah. right? Like that's that's the Marvin Gaye. That's exactly. like, it's, it's all these things we love that a lot of listeners don't know they love, but once you get behind the magic, it's yeah. what's driving it yeah. for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. dude. Well, dude, it's been such a pleasure having it's you. It's been an absolute unbelievable. If you guys need a volunteer, <laughs> I just yeah, want to be man. around what you guys are doing because I think it's it's the future of music that Thank you, they dude. can't really. No one can really take. There's a lot of if you talk like the AI conversation. Mm -hmm. No one can really take these things, and I feel like every time somebody says AI, AI we need more people like you guys to say, oh. "Hey, we've got an opportunity. We've got mm -hmm. a room. We want to showcase." human beings mm -hmm. yeah. um, that are making you know great music so thank you guys for having me it's been well uh, you we guys heard it here time. poet is an honest uh singer and songwriter and he has good things to say about us so if you like it subscribe <laughs> and like it yeah. and share it with everybody because uh you know we love the austin music scene and we're we're bringing on these people like poet and other folks and we're doing our best so make sure to follow us yeah, Thank man. You. And also, can we can we shout out where people can find you before uh, we cut this? Yeah, out? so at Poet Hawkins on Instagram. Um, that's sort of what I'm going to focus on. If I do love it, uh, a TikTok or something, it'll it'll be that. But teach me, man. Um, mm -hmm. I have music streaming uh, under Poet Hawkins, and I'm just excited, and hopefully, um, more to come. A lot of what I played today was from a record I'm working on called Electric Heart, and uh, hopefully, we can get them out there. Amazing, man. You guys heard him here first. Check him out and stick around for more music in this episode of Red Light on Fifth. Never said how much I loved you. I never thought it'd make you stay Didn't have a goodbye in me anyway I didn't want a conversation To map out our mistakes Didn't want to find a way back by mistake So don't start building dreams If you know you get tired I won't have to make my heart a liar Cause you want easy, easy love But I come hard sealed and hard to love You want racing to the altar love But I come promise wounded and slow to love I don't have easy love in me love I don't have easy love to give you love and I won't apologize I'm heavy hearted I'm still learning how to swan dive in your arms while I'm hurting Every lover knows how far their love can go But I hit that finish line before the gun blows So don't start building dreams You know you get tired And I won't have to make my heart a liar Cause you want easy, easy love But I come Heart sealed and hard to love You won't race into the altar, love But I come promise wounded and slow to love It's not easy, love To speed up what you're going through It's not easy, love This heartache that you're racing through It's not easy, love And I want to tell you not to go 
But I know how fast I'd have to go Cause you want easy, easy love I come hard, sealed and hard to love You won't race into the altar love But I come promise wounded and slow to love I don't have easy love in me love I don't have easy love to give you Just a girl that needs the road Faster than a rocket but I'm holding on She's telling me to go But the exits no, I'm staying on Strong engine but a broken heart Brown eyes that drive you crazy You lose a road when it's getting dark But it's alright, it's alright You've gotta drive Straight through the silence and the heartache Pushing the gas until the tears break Watching the road until the lines fade You've gotta drive When you wanna reverse the way the world goes You're Fighting the turns with both your eyes closed Don't need a map for where the heart goes You just drive through what you've been through To the memories in your rear view start to change Stop sign, knock them down, turn around One speed, never slowing down Never tired, never running out of places you need to go Need a will, need a better life Need a love, but it's stalling out Lose a road when it's getting dark But it's alright You've gotta drive Straight through the silence and the heartache Pushing the gas until the tears break Watching the road until the lines fade You've gotta drive When you wanna reverse the way the world goes Fighting the turns with both your eyes closed Don't need a map for where the heart goes Turn around and your love keeps spinning out And your heart starts slowing down But you need somewhere to go You just need somewhere to go You gotta drive Straight through the silence and the heartache Pushing the gas until the tears break Watching the road until the lines fade You've gotta drive when you wanna reverse the way the world goes You're Fighting the turns with both your eyes closed Don't need a map for where the heart goes You just drive through what you've been through Till the memories in your rear view start to change Start to change Need somewhere to go, just need somewhere to go. You've got to drive, drive straight through the silence and the heartache, pushing the gas until the tears break, 
Watching the road into the lines of fade You've got to drive We want to reverse the way the world goes We fight in the turns with both your eyes closed You don't need a map for where the heart goes You just drive through what you've been through Till the memories in your rear view start to change